and welcome esteemed guests to my channel. My name is Ainsley. Let's do stuff. Today I'm doing a toddler to adult challenge. I really want to do a let's play. When I'm recording this, it's just after the announcement at EA Play that we have the new Island Living expansion pack coming and I really want to jump in and try to do some let's play stuff with that. So I decided that the best way to get used to doing voiceover during a let's play where it's live audio is just to jump in and work my way up. So I'm doing this live audio challenge for a toddler to adult and fingers crossed everything goes pretty well. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about it, how you think I'm doing, if there's any way I can improve. But yeah, without any further ado, let's jump in and get started. So I think what I'm going to do is age her down to a toddler and then randomize three times to give myself a um, base starting sim that I don't already have a general idea of what she looks like. So one, two, and three. Okay, so here's my starting sim. She's pretty cute. Um, I might hold off on naming her. I usually like to name my sims once they're done because I feel like I can give them a name that's kind of based on um, what kind of vibe they're giving me. So let's, um, this feels weird, but let's take off the toddler clothes and let's go in. No, okay, the baby needs clothes. This is too weird. Let's just put the baby in some temporary clothes. I was wrong. Shouldn't have taken it off in the first place. All right. Let's go in and start playing around. Um, now these eyebrows, I'm not a big fan of the base game eyebrows for toddlers. Some of them are okay for adults, but not really for toddlers. So let's try out some new eyebrows. Um, maybe I'll keep her with black hair. That is what automatically generated. Although I don't know, I might get into it and decide I want to do something different. I'll just keep these for now. And um, work on the face. Now the eyebrows, I know these eyebrows tend to be very arched, but even for praline eyebrows, they're a little angry. So I'll change these first and foremost. Maybe um, thin the jaw and try pointing the chin a little bit. I'm probably going to end up with a very pointy chin sim, but you know, sometimes you just have to go for it. I don't know with the jaw, I'd rather it be more pronounced than overly recessed. And maybe just go right into detail mode. Now, the toddler eyes scare me a bit because I know that they can get pretty enormous because all base toddler eyes are pretty enormous. So maybe I'll shrink them a little bit. That's the pupils. That's not what I want. Maybe I will make them a little bit smaller. These eyebrows are still being weird. That's maybe better. Like the end of them is really flipped up and I can't tell if that's because I've got adult eyebrows on a child or if that's just uh, gonna spell trouble for me once she ages up. Let's uh, do some stuff with the nose. Give her a nice wide nostril. It looks like she's got a very pointed, yeah, there. I wanna make the uh, tip of the nose a bit wider and maybe give her more of a bridge. It's hard to even tell what you're doing on this scale. I think that gives her more of a long nose. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay, she looks like a human, but that's not saying much. That tends to be how this challenge starts for everybody. I just watched Eleandra's uh, Toddler to Adult Challenge, which is kind of what inspired me to jump in and do my own. And she ended up with a very protruding top lip and a very recessed bottom lip. And I'm going to try to avoid doing that, but who knows? Can you ever really avoid disaster when doing this challenge? I don't think so. I'll make her ears a bit cuter. And then I want to scale down the global size of the eyes so that I have half a chance at having like normal human sized eyes. I feel like that chin is spelling disaster. So I'm just going to bring it up a bit. And uh, can I bring her nose? Yeah, I think as far as, you know, fiddling. No, okay, something's wrong with the mouth. Pretend I didn't say that. Um, maybe it's the nose. If I drag the nose down, it feels like there's uh, too much space. What am I rotating here? Okay, tip of her nose. Okay, well that's good, but that's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get this to bring it down and then bring her mouth down overall. Maybe a little wider. Something about the lips is spelling trouble. I feel like they're going to be not what I'm imagining them to be. See, you know you're in dangerous territory when you reach like the max that it can go. When you get the little red bar, you've either gone to the minimum or the maximum and both spell out trouble. You know what I'm going to call it? I'm going to say that this is the sim. 
this is her. These eyebrows are still weird, but I think that's just by virtue of like putting the adult eyebrows on a toddler. What about these ones? Yeah, those ones are, those ones are mostly good. What do I have for babies as far as hair goes? Not loads. I don't have a lot of toddler CC. I like that. And maybe I'll just change her um, eyebrows to match. Now you know she has to have some eyelashes because we are not cruel. So let's go with those eyelashes. Those are cute. I like that. That's cute. And do I have a nose overlay? And do I like what that nose overlay does to her nose? Maybe, yeah, that one. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, cute kid. I was wondering if you could put scars on children. You cannot, which is probably a good call. Yeah, so I think that's kind of the base. Now what I'm gonna do is just do like her everyday outfit because I'm not super concerned with creating like a full toddler that you could like play with in your gameplay because that's not really the point. I'm more excited to see what she looks like as a young adult. Oh yeah, okay, I forgot I even had this. That's actually pretty cute. Oh, that's adorable. <gasps> Oh, that's adorable. So, um, I think what I'm going to do so that I can do kind of a back and forth comparison is save this household. Oh, that does mean I need to give her a name. Um, let's make her... She's an independent sim. Is she a Violet Woodson? I do... I feel like she's got a cool, like, earthy thing going on. I don't know if that's very Violet. Maybe that's more like... What are some earthy names? What's a good, like, earth name? Tara. So... She's a Terra 1R. Must be 1R. Because I would know by looking at it. Would I? Would I know how to spell Terra by looking at it? Okay, we're going with 1R. If that's wrong, let me know in the comments down below. And maybe Terra... Terra Palmer. So what I'm gonna do is just save this household to uh, my library so that I can add her again and just merge. And this way, when I age her up, we have something to go back and forth and compare. So, little Tara, let's see how we did in one, two, three. Oh, okay. Hey, did I do it? I, I think I might've done it. I'm okay with this. I feel like her head is a bit big for her body, but you know what? Oh, okay. Well, the nose is a statement, but you know what? I don't mind a statement nose, as anyone who watches this channel would know. I feel okay with this. She looks really nice from face on, for sure. Um, what does she look like if you take the skin details off? No, see, she looks just as nice. I, I got a bit out of control with the nose, but I think that's just because a lot of the rest of her face is very flat. I think if we brought either the rest of her face out or brought the nose in just a little bit, you'd basically be a human. And I'm sure that's a human nose. There are people with that nose. It's not a bad nose. I'm going to obviously do my alpha CC hair because I live that alpha hair life. That might not be so bad. Like I feel like with how dimensional the hair is, you know, you, you lose how dimensional the nose is. I love this hair so much. Someone needs to take it away from me. All I ever do is put Sims in this hair. It's just so nice. Oh, and it's got a swatch that matches. Okay. Well, um, maybe I'll do the eyebrows too. The eyebrows turned out normal, which is good. They were, I was worried about them. I was very worried about them, not gonna lie. Um, I like those eyebrows. They're kind of soft. I like how well textured this hair is too. Like it just looks like real hair. I really like it. Um, I keep wanting to put Sims in this hair and then never do. Oh, okay, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. And same thing, like having the waves that come off her face sort of hide how much her nose comes off her face. I shouldn't say hide. It's not like it hides it, it just, it works with it. It accentuates it, it makes it a feature rather than a bug. Oh, that's pretty. This one, you can imagine she got like a balayage. Okay, that that's nice too. I think part of this problem is that she needs eyelashes. I gotta go give her eyelashes and maybe some skin details to get a better idea of what she'll look like. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Like, I'm not interested in necessarily hiding the nose from the front, which I feel like is what this does. It makes it really skinny and that's not really what I'm looking for. Oh, that's nice. I like that this one is a little aging. I don't know if it's the dimples or like the smile lines but I find it looks good. It makes her look a little more like mid-adulthood. Oh, that's actually, 
this skin I have trouble with. I don't find it looks that good on all my sims, but it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with this skin detail and then put on some eyelashes. So this comes as what? A forehead detail? So I think the eyelashes need to be a mouth thing. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like this hair a lot and I never use it. Um, I wonder if I put a hairline in here with this hair, if it would look better. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks really nice. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling this. I hate how that hair clips in her boobs because I love that hair. Does this... No, that doesn't help. I'm gonna have to change it. Now, I know it's darker than when she was a toddler, but she probably just dyes it or maybe, you know, a lot of people's hair gets darker as they get older. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I really like that. Okay, I really like that. That's a top contender. Uh, I'd like to try this dress on again now that I don't have the hair in the way. Hmm. It is nice. And I just want to play around with a few like top and bottom options but I don't know I think those overalls are pretty top contender because I don't know what else she would wear that I own oh I downloaded these for pride I'm gonna do um well I had downloaded these just before we got the announcement that EA are partnering with the it gets better campaign to give us new pride stuff so I downloaded these um pride tees because I'm gonna do a rainbow sims for pride I just probably now I'm gonna wait toward the end of the month when we get the content for the game so that I can use some stuff that actually comes with the game. But I did download like this shirt and some face paints and I used uh, some pride flags that I downloaded for create a, or not create a sim, but for build mode in the last build I did, which was the girlfriend's apartment. I guess she could wear like a sweater too, but I don't know. I'm, I'm really feeling that. I just, you know how it feels like such a cop out to just put someone in a full body outfit because it feels like you didn't like work hard enough to make it work you know what I mean like you didn't have to try to cobble together an outfit from a bunch of different sources you just threw something on pre-prepared I feel like this puts her stomach in a very weird place like it doesn't look like that if I take her top off surely is that where her stomach no see it like drops it that's not what I want okay so maybe this shirt is not what I want story of my life I really wish there were better like custom content stuff for plus size sims it's ridiculous so many things either like clip strangely or don't fit properly or like make them thinner which is not my point like she can stay the size she is thank you very much i love this shirt i really do like it it's got that kind of like business casual look that i really like i think i work in kind of a corporate office type environment so a lot of my closet is business casual and i really like it I, I wanted to like reflect what she was wearing as a kid and she did have like the denim overalls on so maybe i do jeans instead i do like those let me put her in some boots um i have some custom content shoes I'm not like married to the idea of custom content shoes though. If I find something else, I will wear something else. Mm, that's really cute. And I do have these. No, see those are under the pants. Mm, that's not what I want. So let's wear those. And then do I do much for accessories? I do have like her eyelashes on as skin details. So I can't put rings on. Yeah, I think that's her. I'm not really gonna bother, I don't think with her other outfits either because it's not really something that, like, I don't necessarily see her as a sim that anyone's ever going to play with. It's more just to see, you know, what you can get going from toddler to adult. Oh, and I do need to pick aspirations and a trait. So she was an independent, yeah, she was an independent kid. So maybe as an adult, she wants to do something independent-y. Like maybe, um, I don't know why, but I feel like city native is a very independent career. Like I just, or not career, but aspiration. Like I see people who are in the city as very like do it themselves kind of people. Like they go scouting for their favorite restaurant by themselves and they're in an apartment that they like rent with people they don't maybe know so well. I don't know. To me, that's a very independent aspiration. So that is what I'm going to go with the city native. And I think I'm going to give her, as far as traits, um, well, self-assured, because I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with independent. Plus, I really like to overuse the heck out of self-assured. A loner? And maybe she's also... I bet she loves the outdoors. Like, if she's a city native, maybe she's spending a lot of time around the outside walking around the city so that's tara palmer she looks pretty awesome if i do say so myself the nose came out a little on the large side but the rest of her looks fairly human which is impressive in a toddler to adult challenge so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below 
Are you into her? Are you not into her? How do you think we did? This is a, I'll give you a quick little spin so you can compare. This is her as a child. I'd be curious to know where that nose came from, honestly. This is her as an adult. Can I like go back to her as a toddler and see just like what the heck was going on with her nose that we did that? Is it because I pulled it out? Like how did that nose become that nose? Sims, you have some explaining to do. But yeah, that's everything. I think I'm going to leave the video here. So let me know in the comments down below how you thought I did, if you enjoyed this video, how you felt my voiceover was, if there's anything you'd like to see me do more of, less of, definitely let me know. Also, are you guys excited for the new pack? Oh my gosh. I have to say, I am excited for Island Living, but I'm almost more excited for Realm of Magic. Like that is gonna be so awesome. One of the few expansion packs I had for The Sims 3, because I didn't have like the most disk space on my computer, but I had Into the Future and I had the, um, whatever the Supernatural pack was. And I really enjoyed that. Other than when the zombies kept eating my garden, that drove me nuts. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Until next time, get out there and do stuff.